Cool. Oh. Uh, are you going to do the one thing with us? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Are you guys still doing all right? Yeah. Keep yeah. Good job. Um, do you have any questions to try to stump us with? <laughs> no? Our babies, man. You need to ask your parents about that. Or just go to a public school. You'll find out. Right <laughs> That one for me, man. Yeah. I was kind of wondering, what gave you the idea for Mouth Like a Magazine? You get any idea for Mouth Like a Magazine? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some some girl I knew all to do running her mouth. <laughs> she uh, actually the girl that uh, wrote the song about at the time she made me real mad, man. She'd always be talking uh, talking about people. So yeah, it's not really specifically about her so much as it is about the idea of. Uh, gossip and or gossip in the sense that people that use it to make themselves feel better about themselves but now she's one of my good friends you know? <laughs> after the fact and then years later i told her i was like hey you know that song's about you and she was like yeah, yeah i think she wanted to cry or something she felt real bad <laughs> funny story so now whenever we play it she's around we're like this this is about her and she feels real cool for sure so anyway um good question young man <laughs> Uh, this. <laughs> what you eating, dog? Eating pizza, man. Pizza. <laughs> hey, bodyguard, I need something to drink. Hey, you got a cup of water? Yeah. Is that normal water? It's a special water. Mm -hmm. It's uh, EMI water. Ooh, it's got fluoride in it. Watch the water. <laughs> what are you saying? Fluoride. You know, lizards will control your mind if you drink fluoride. Somebody gave me a conspiracy theory book to read by this dummy named David Icke. And uh, he thinks that uh, reptiles are running our world. And uh, that's not what the CD's about. It just happened to be a coincidence. But he thinks that uh, reptiles control our water supply and that they put fluoride in it. And fluoride controls your brain. So if you drink water, you're under control by reptiles. <laughs> Mike, can you open this? Where Mike went? Oh, yeah. Um, you guys want to hear a joke while I'm waiting for him? Yes. Okay, check this out. Have you heard the joke about the panda? So I'm about to tell it to you. Don't mess this up if you've heard me tell this already. I'm looking at you because it seems like something you'd do. <laughs> um, so this guy goes into a restaurant. and uh, Or actually this guy works in a restaurant. I'm sorry. It's a bad sign when I tell the first thing. Else. This guy's working in a restaurant and a panda comes in to eat and the panda sits there and gets his grub on, you know. And then when the panda finishes up, the um, waiter goes to settle up with the panda, give him the bill, you know. The panda just pulls out a gun and shoots the waiter and then he's like, oh, they got Labyrinth record. <laughs> and uh, the panda pulls out a gun and shoots the waiter dead and the waiter falls down dead and leaves. And then the, the, uh, the maitre d' sees all this happening and he's like, oh, what, what, that was a rude panda, man. He just didn't even pay. He just shot the guy and then rolled out. So the maitre d' chases the panda out of the restaurant. <laughs> and he's like, what the heck is your problem, panda? You uh, shot my guy and then you left. And the panda goes, I'm a panda. You need to look it up in the encyclopedia. So the guy goes, oh, that's fair enough. So the guy goes back and he opens up his encyclopedia and looks up panda in the, in the encyclopedia. And the entry says, uh, panda, yeah, he looks on Wikipedia. <laughs> and then, and the, the entry says, panda, uh, eat, shoots, and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, he's gone. I got it. This is going to be very Okay. Yeah, that's already messed up. So anyway, we recorded this song uh, while we were recording Age of Reptiles, but we didn't finish it because uh, we were running a little on time. We actually spent all our time finishing two other songs that aren't on the CD either, and this one could have been, so... Oh well. But uh <laughs> Could be on the next huh? one. We did, yeah, we redid mouth and hooked right now. Yeah. So anyway. But it's better this one. This is uh this is called Never an Oceanographer. And uh maybe someday it'll be somewhere. It's still sitting on a shelf somewhere in the uh, studio. Yeah, maybe it'll be on my space one day. Pure volume. Hey man, by the way, we're rolling pure volume right now. You are for sure. 
If you guys go look at them charts, man, so you can be uh, duly impressed by what we're doing on there. Number two in Screamo, right behind. Yeah, and then uh, post hardcore or number and one. Number one in post hardcore, whatever that is. And then uh, it was pretty ironic that we're number two in Screamo. I don't. Know. Anyway, the uh, and number eleven overall. Just behind AFI, man. That's right. Showbread is in the big time. So, yeah. So those 25 people that still go to Pure Volume are really making it happen. So anyway, are we still in tune? Okay. All right. This is never an oceanographer. <clears throat>
Thank you. Manish. Manish? 